Hello, hello, this is going to be your March 2019 tarot reading. And the first half of the video, we're going to go over just general life advice, what I see coming up in the cards. And then in the extended, we're going to go over your partner's feelings if you are watching this for love. I'm trying to incorporate more into my readings, not just based around love, because I know people want to know about other things, okay? So uh, if you'd like to get the extended version of this reading, reading, you can find it in the description below. If you need a personal reading, you can also find that in the description below, okay? So um, we are going to get right to it, uh, not the tarot deck. <laughs> First, we're going to pull an energy card just to see what the general energy is for you this month. Um, I'm not going to, I don't know which sign I'm reading for yet until I pull from the deck. All right, so you will do it like that. So that way the cards are just coming out for you guys, right? Not from my own perception of what I know going on with my friends and that type of thing. All right, because I have friends of all different types of signs. So we have Forgiveness as your card that comes out of the deck and the Renewal card at the bottom of the deck. Very nice. So Forgiving and Renewal. All right, Forgiving the Past, Renewing that Energy. We also have Expansion coming out. That's really nice. So big changes coming in from Forgiveness, but being able to let go of what have, has been done to you in the past, okay? This is higher um, thinking. Forgiveness comes from the realm of love. Um, purple is the enlightenment chakra, the crown chakra. So this is a very high state of being to be able to forgive, especially how deep, de depending on how deep the wound is, right? It's definitely going to take a lot of, um, spiritual energy to forgive someone because the lower vibration in us wants to like be mad forever. Understandable, but you got to elevate, right? So letting go of the past and forgiving is going to be a big key for whichever sign we're reading right now. And I will find out shortly all right so here's a nice good shuffle this is my second time using this deck so i'm going to have to see what's coming out and learn the cards as they're coming out make sure i got everything here all right so we have the queen of pentacles so this could be um virgo we'll take virgo because the magician came out as well and this could be a virgo card so we'll take this as virgo's reading hi virgo how are you you've shown up the next card is the Ten of Cups. So this is nice. So you have, um, let me show you the cards. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which is the Queen of Crystals in this deck, which is you. We have the Magician Energy. So this is talking about work. So new beginnings with work, a very big creative um, energy coming in from work. And then the Ten of Cups. So you're happy about this new beginning. You're happy about this new angle that you have at work. Okay, you're really taking control of your job situation and making sure that you're getting the best out of it. There may also be a lot of work right now. Okay, I'm here for some of you, you may have like certain um, things you do during the spring seasons. As far as business is concerned, some of you may have seasonal businesses and it looks really good if that's where you're going with things. You have um, the next card is the eight of swords. So blockages in the love department here. Okay, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Make sure you get the extended if you're interested in the love portion more than anything, okay? We have the page of swords. So some of you are dealing with an air sign. Gemini is here twice. Could be Libra or Aquarius coming up. Then we have the six of pentacles. Nice. Okay, I'm not mad at that. And then we have the wheel of fortune. Nice. Virgo, the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Look at that. All right. So let's move these up a little bit so I can kind of show you. I know you guys can't see the cards that great, but it's for me to really see, honestly, right? Okay. So with forgiveness, all right. So I would definitely say that could definitely pertain to your love life here. So business is looking great with the Ten of Cups and the Magician here. You're really taking control of your career, especially if you're into business or some type of creative type of venture that you're wanting to kick off right now. Or like I said, some of you, this is what you do every year. Um, a lot of you, um, knowing Virgos, you guys get really big kickstart around this time because it's the first inclining that the weather is starting to get warm. Virgo, you are a summer sign, okay? Even if you look in the Vedic, um, astrology which is what I use technically um, Virgo is still at the end of summer if you use a tropical zodiac you guys are in summer you're late August so you love the warm time that is your season and it's a season of harvest and growth so the magician energy is right up your alley okay um, you're taking on that energy you're taking on the extra workload you're liking it it's very nice it's making you happy your pockets are fatter 
family is happy you're spending more time with family and i'm not talking about necessarily your partner i feel time with your immediate family siblings um is going to be on the horizon or friends that are you feel are, are family okay this new energy may also be with family you may be um maybe you have friends and family that may also get into business with you that could be it as well but either way blessings is and well-being is your outcome for work so it looks really really popping for that now for love here um looks popping as well the six of pentacles is your forgiveness card right we already had that coming out all right and forgiveness can apply to work too forgiving yourself for the mindset of what you had in the past or not being thankful for what you had whatever that could apply to for work this also could be um somebody who treated you bad at work as well okay but for love your forgiveness card is coming out as the six of pentacles this is reconciliation this is letting someone back in from the cold this is reciprocity so if your partner was a little closed off to you last month during that retrograde or um you were feeling a drawback from your partner or you feel like you were feeling like your partner wasn't putting as much into the relationship as they could have that's going to be ending this month for you, okay? It's going to be really, really reciprocated by the end of April for you, okay? Um, the Page of Swords gives me the impression that your partner may be away from you because the Page of Swords is a stalker card. It's it's kind of like I'm looking at what you're doing on social media or I'm paying close attention to you. I'm watching tarot readings about you. I'm thinking about you. Um, I'm really trying to see where things are at, where you're concerned. So this could tell me your partner is at a distance from you um, if you are living with your partner, they may have just been distant with you or they're um, really interested in what you've been doing. So they may be like trying to do some uh, investigating on you and like trying to see what's going on with you. They may even like go through your personal stuff. I mean, I hate to say that, but that's what kind of page of swords. It's a nosy ass energy. Okay. Um, I think if they're having any suspicions of you, it may be because you're having this eight of swords energy they are not used to you being closed off like this so they may have their own um suspicions of what this eight of swords energy could have been if you are resonating with virgo having the ruling planet of mercury me personally i have i think of virgo under different planets but the mainstream ruler of virgo is mercury so mercury was just going backwards so that's virgo's supposed ruling sign so just how they say Gemini is going backwards during that time, then technically you would have to give that to Virgo too, right? Okay, so Virgo's faculties weren't as popping or their communication wasn't as forthcoming. They were very internal, this retrograde, okay? So that could be why they're closed off. It doesn't necessarily have to be any type of infidelity or not liking you anymore. I think someone here may be insecure. I'm not going to lie. If you're dealing with an insecure Gemini, um, Libra or Aquarius or someone who's just kind of insecure because they're not used to this behavior all right but the six of pentacles tells me all of that will be cleared up by the end of April you have the wheel of fortune as your main outcome card your overall outcome card this is an extra card that the deck wanted to give you that's popping that's new cycles renewal that renewal card I mean she kind of looks like an octopus a little bit she's got that same type of energy as the octopus so it's an expansion card it's this is the empress in this deck so um and the expansion card did come out with this okay i was looking at that as well so this is talking about expansion expansion in the love life as well your partner is going to be willing to put in the work to fix this right now okay this also could be if they if you are into business they could help you out with that a lot too let's see why this eight of swords is here for virgos for those who are watching virgo and trying to figure out why your virgo has been kind of closed off I'm going to take this one card here because that's the only card that didn't. Okay. So the five is the Hierophant. I knew I should know what this is. It's the Hierophant. And it wasn't in this deck as the Hierophant. It's in the deck as the Shaman. So that's what the five is. I knew I, it was the Emperor and something else. Okay. So um, the five is the Hierophant. So Eight of Swords and the Hierophant. This person has been, like I said, Virgo is on a very spiritual path right now. They're more focused on family concerns um, for the greater good. They also may be closed off if you haven't committed to them because they want marriage for some of you. Okay. Um, they are really dutiful right now. They're, there's something bigger than, than them that they're focused on. Okay. That's kind of where the Virgo's energy is. It's not even personal unless you aren't committed to them and they want you to be committed then that could be why they're kind of closed off because when Virgos don't get what they want, they're not going to sit there and keep arguing with you about it. Um, that's beneath them. They're going to um, just close themselves off towards you and go find it elsewhere. That's just how Virgos are. I hate to say it, but it is what it is. All right. 
um, the shaman energy is telling me they're focused on something bigger than themselves. They also may be focused on work, especially with these big traditional, like transitional changes up here. They're focused on work. Okay, so I don't feel like, unless they're dealing with a Taurus on the side, which I don't feel like that's what's going on here. I'm not seeing third party energy. But if they are, then, you know, get a personal, we'll talk about it. But I think they're focused on something more important than themselves. And I think that's why they're kind of closed off towards you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get into the extended now. I want to see how your partner's going to be feeling about you in April. If you would like to see that, you can also get the extended as well. It's in the description. Um, I really like this reading, Virgo. It's really positive. I think any issue that you're having with your partner will be reconciled by the end of April. Work looks popping if you're willing to take on this workload coming towards you. But, I mean, you're the queen of coins. I mean, you know how to handle that. That's nothing to you. Okay? So I hope that you enjoy this reading, and I will see you for the next reading in late April or later in April. Okay? Bye, Virgo.